Okay, today we're going to show you how to import some companies into Truck.com ST. So if we go across the left hand side here and click on companies and click on import, we can then open a file. Typically this file that we open up would be a CSV file um, containing the customer data. It sometimes is exported from Sage or some other system that you may have, but this uses a CSV file. So if we click on open file here, and we scroll down and select the customer list that we have here and open that up. We have a list come up of all the customers and their data from that file. So now we want to map across the columns on the right hand side here to the columns in the file. So the first column here is the account reference. So if we drag the account reference over to that column, it's as easy as that. So the next column here would be the name of the customer. So we drag name across and we also drag across the invoice address name here. Um, the invoice address name is used obviously used for the invoice address and the name is the customer name. And the next column is the street. So we drag across street into this column here and the same again for city. Under the city column, we also drag across the invoice address short name. This short name is used when searching for addresses or the the name that comes up alongside a job, a job leg. So we drag that across to the city or town column. We also drag across the postcode to the postcode column, the telephone number to the telephone column, and the notes over here, where's the notes? Oh, I've done it already, I have notes here. And the notes for the notes column, and that's it, we're all done. If we know that these are customers or subcontractors, we simply select that over here, so I know these are customers, so we select that to yes or no, we leave that as yes. Or if they're subcontractors, you can set it as a subcontractor by selecting yes or no here. Once that's done, we click import data at the top here, and we wait a couple of seconds. And that's it. We can see that the customers have been created. Uh, the invoices addresses are here. We can reorder these columns, but on the right hand side we can drag and drop. So for example, I want the invoice address next to the account reference. We simply click here and drag up and let go. And there we go. It's reordered it. If we save that. And for example, we want to see the address information for ABN Limited. We can right click and click details, properties, and we have here the name of the company, the account reference, telephone numbers, the notes that we had, and also the invoice address here. And we can click on and view each line of the address. So that's how you import jobs, uh, sorry, that's how you import customers into Truck Commerce